A disturbing crime outside a southeast Portland church, and the biggest shock, the age of the perpetrators. Good evening to you. I'm Anna Canzano. Portland police say two boys, ages 7 and 11, tried to carjack a woman. This was in the parking lot of the Freedom Foursquare Church at Southeast 160th and Alder yesterday. Police found a loaded 22 caliber handgun in the 11-year-old's pocket. K2's Patrick Preston is live at the church tonight. Patrick, you came face to face with that 11-year-old today. You know, and it came as a bit of a surprise, in fact. The seven-year-old and the 11-year-old are considered too young for juvenile detention, and so police dropped them off with their parents yesterday. Well, today I was standing out here talking with the victim of the attempted carjacking when the 11-year-old walked right up to us during our interview. I didn't think it was real. They're just two very little kids, 7 and 11. Amy Garrett never saw it coming, sitting in her truck waiting for her parents to leave church when the 11-year-old led the boy's approach. He was like showing me his gun and I asked him if it was real and he was like, you don't ever ask somebody if it's real, that's how you get yourself shot. And then he said it was fully loaded and cocked and ready to go. He told me that he was going to blow my brains out if I didn't give him something. Garrett refused to give up her truck or her money or her phone to the two boys, so she decided to drive away and then dial 911. My heart was like beating a million miles an hour. I'm surprised it didn't completely beat out of my chest. I was very, very scared. That was Saturday, and unfortunately, Garrett's fear came back on Sunday. And that is the kid right there. When the 11 year old walked right up to us during our interview. You're the 11 year old with a gun? Talk to your parents, please. We, we can't talk to you, unfortunately, because you're under 18 years old. But can you grab your parents and come on back? Yeah. The boy's age prevents us from interviewing him without his parents' permission. Once he walked away, he never returned, and neither did his parents. I don't want to be here right now. <laughs> Garrett eventually stopped worrying, knowing we were there as well as other church members. She's even hopeful the boys will get more involved in the church after more time has passed. Eventually, I want them to be able to come to the church and actually have some faith. I want them to have a brighter future because they're not going anywhere bright right now. They're just going down a really bad path. The boy's family lives next to the church. His father told me on the phone that his son has come to this church before, has been part at times of the youth group here, and has written an apology letter to the church, which we checked with the pastor. It has not been received yet. The father says he could not comment any further until checking with his attorney. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Patrick Preston, K2 News. What a bizarre interaction there, Patrick. Thank you.